And we're back. It is Thursday, October 29th. Halloween is two days away. Okay, here we go. My weirdness is done. We are talking about conclusions. Over the past couple days, we have discussed introduction, like leads and hooks and thesis. We've looked at body paragraphs. Now we're looking at informational essay conclusions. So what you need to do when you start your conclusion, we're going to start with a transition word. So here's a list of a few you can use, obviously, in fact, without, clearly, in conclusion, finally. Then you're going to choose one of the following. You can choose to have a sentence in which you restate your controlling idea in new words. Um, you can choose to do a call to action where you're requesting that your reader do something that supports your topic and prompt. Um, or you can make a prediction. So you can, if you're talking about like pollution, you can make a prediction about what the continuation of pollution will do to our planet. Um, and then the last sentence, you're tying it back to your lead. Okay, so let's look at the parts of the conclusion. So um, first, let's see. Yeah, I am going to fix something for us here. We need to start with our transition, right? And this example is not right, so let's fix it. Um, I'm going to go with obviously. That's always an easy one. Obviously, you can accomplish wonderful things if you don't give up. So that's our transition, okay? And then um, be persistent and dominate in anything you're doing. Never give up. Never giving up, excuse me, can help and improve your life. Just put your mind to it and it's yours. So that, so this is our ooh, transition. And um, slash, we kind of restate our the thesis. Obviously, you can, oh, excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. Um, obviously, you can accomplish wonderful things if you never give up. Then over here, we have kind of a call to action that's telling the reader, be persistent, dominate in what you're doing. Um, put your mind to it, and it's yours. So that's our call to action. Okay, and I mean, if you feel like you have an essay that's just kind of hanging, you can incorporate the third part to it where you have um, where you have an extra sentence that just kind of wraps it all up. So, today, we decided to be super nice to you and essentially let you have kind of like a free day. Um, you, uh... We, we know you've been working really hard. We know you've had a lot of um, activities between grammar and then this writing every day. So we wanted to kind of just chill and let you have a day to where you're just learning. You don't necessarily have to do a task directly after. Um, being perfectly honest and straightforward when it comes to writing, conclusions are not always the part of the essay that we focus on the most. Um, they're pretty simple. You can wrap something up in just a couple sentences. So we try to really emphasize the body paragraphs because that's where the meat of our essay is. So because of that, because you've been working so hard this week, we're just going to let you chill. You don't have another task to do. So stop at slide 24. Yes, you can stop watching this video and just go relax for a minute. Take a brain break before you move on to your next class. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, we, of course, whenever it comes to writing and planning, we'll be working through conclusions with you more. So I know that doesn't seem like a lot of information, but you're going to have plenty of support when it comes to writing. Um, okay, so we hope you have a lovely, restful, little free moment of time. Bye.